Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Master of Time. Um, I had a few questions, I don't remember if it was a comment or if it was on my Twitter, but I had a question about someone who didn't know what the green bar was up on the top underneath the the hearts. I, I try not to like over explain things because this, if you're watching a ROM hack, this is assuming that you already have an understanding or at least a basic understanding of Zelda and its mechanics or at least have uh, played Ocarina of Time which it, this game is you know a mod of but uh, for those of you who don't know uh, some people are new and they're they're interested in this story as a disclaimer uh, be aware this is a fan-made hack so this does not actually have anything to do with Zelda, it's just for fun, um, it's not canon, it's not licensed by Nintendo. Anyway, the green bar up there is uh, Link's magic meter. In several Zelda games, Link is given the ability to use magic, and you may have noticed it decrease whenever I used uh, the traditional favors win in this game it's skull kid win but for example if I get our newly acquired ice arrows that we found in that guy's stomach you see the the bar is flashing up there warning me that I'm gonna use magic on to what I'm sure you all <laughs> have been waiting for and I apologize for the delay Now that we have the silver scale, we can dive and find out what's through here. Do you guys recognize this? You remember the very first temple that we went to in this game? Deku Cliffs or whatever? That's where we are. We're, we're back at the uh, village. Did we leave any in here? I know uh, gold sculpture hunting isn't necessarily the most exciting thing in the world, but from what I've read, um, of what the the mod modder has written about, you know the golden sculptures and stuff there is apparently some sort of reward so I want to make sure I show it off mind you I can hear it too there it is please be all of them no mm. There are any more in this room that you guys can see? I don't think so. Be a little ticked if they hid one in here. That's dumb. I'm oh, hearing. Hmm. Oh wait, we didn't go in that one uh, door to the right. Whenever you first walk in here, we will do that really quick. Now where are we? 
I don't recognize this. Did we ever come here? I don't recognize this at all. Hmm. Here, horse. Did anyone else hear a horse? Here's a magic jar. I am very whoa. We definitely did not come here. So if you go back to the dungeon and then go through the thing, because before that just put us outside at the beginning of the dungeon. This is completely new. Well, this wasn't a waste of time after all. At least we got to see a new area. That's always good. What the heck are these? That's not a texture from Ocarina time. I'm here to protect the farm, and no one has bothered us since I started. What a good scarecrow. Oh crap, that is not the button I thought I was pressing. You don't like my Ocarina? Hmm. Oh hey, we can get milk now. Uh, but we don't have the... The ranch song. Maybe we learn it here. I don't really understand why this was so hidden. Is it? I mean, can we get here any other way? Because who would? Who would come back to the temple and go all the way through it and then go in the in the final warp other than me, apparently. Okay. I'm gonna try the glitch. Don't mind me. Oh crap, these bombs go off much quicker than I'm used to. A little bit early. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. I've gotten so, like, conditioned to feel for the, the bomb timing from Ocarina of Time that I, I cannot train my brain to do it any other way. Well, we got a freaking horse. I guess we're just going to steal this guy's horse. Oh, wait. Before we do that, I want to see if... Because these, like these piles of hay or whatever, or like in the Shadow Temple... Um, they're intended to be bones, but like they're bombable at least if there's like a little pit like that. Okay, where's the shot? Surely this horse isn't just to jump over this and get the sculpture, right? Oh, are you kidding? Me? Why is everything in this game so janky, man? We had like ten people. Play test this. I mean, it's a, it's a fun game. It, there, it's really cool. It's just there's so many. It's just unpolished, in my opinion. All right, sweet. What? It's just. Out of reach. Okay. Whatever.
Oh, cool. Those were here. Nothing. Is this all just blocked off? Weird. See how janky that is? Like, it's through the wall. Like, it didn't have to be if you just made the structure up there. Not so. He shouldn't have used the, the gates, honestly. You can jump over things other than the gates. Like, there are rope fences, kind of like rope like looking, I don't know, in Ocarina of Time over by Gerudo Canyon. And those are jumpable. And they also connect with the uh, canyon landscape. So it would have flowed a lot better, I feel like. This rough not. Okay. What am I supposed to do then? You just like climb in here. Or freak if you could. Hmm. Can you just make that jump? That seems a little. What? You can't even get through this door? So uh, you have to like break in. That's interesting. Okay. Boy, that sun shining through the house. <laughs> sure is blinding. Oh, I digress. So what's the idea here? Do we just, do we bomb that? Burn it maybe? Try bombing first. I guess I'll try and just make the jump. Man, I thought I might be able to do it. Well, what's the idea? Because obviously that's intended to get up there. I mean... Why else would it give us those vines to climb? Oh hey, there, I didn't even see the scarecrow. What? Uh, life is calm here. You can stay if you're calm. You don't like music either, huh? Maybe... I'm very confused on what to do. If I don't end up figuring it out, figuring it out in this episode, um, leave your ideas in the comments because I'm open to suggestions. Clearly, there's some reason for those vines. Can we all agree on that? But... Then what? Hmm. Because we couldn't hookshot the... The roof, which normally you should be able to. For 
perplexed. You think it's just because everything in this pack is janky? You think you're just supposed to get right on the edge and maybe you can make the jump? No. Not even. So strange. Maybe, is there even an, an inside to this? Look. Try everything else. Not sure. I don't know, guys. Uh, like I said, if you can think of anything to try just let me know in the comments I might come back here and try it look at, there's gotta be some like more secrets here unless that's just simply there because maybe you come back here at night and there's golden sculptula I don't know all right before we leave Let's see, is there anything back here? No. So how do you get out of here? With a Pono? Or isn't that the idea? That's why we came here, ultimately, right? To get a Pono? Oh, you can get on that? What the heck? Surely a Pono can't jump out. What is that? Oh, it's the... It's a... It's the magic carpet guy. How the heck do we get over there? Hmm. Oh wait, speak to him? What up dude? Welcome, my name is Victor Boom. The owner of the bomb factory just there. Well, I was the owner. Some gangsters have expelled me. If you can, go inside and kill them for me. You can keep anything you find inside, okay? I still have some stock of bomb shoes with me. I can sell it to you for a cheap price. How about 200 rupees? How about you bite me, dude? You want me to help you? And buy what I need in order to help you man you can yeah maybe there's a I thought maybe there'd be like a grotto right there since if you remember like in the the first village we visited there were some uh, graphical glitches that were kind of hiding a hidden grotto. Uh, wait. Is it supposed to bring a Pona? No, there's no way we can get a Pona down here. Besides, like, where the heck are we? We just, like, appear here. How the heck is all this supposed to be connecting? Like, I don't... Eh. Stuff like that, I don't, I don't like just random... Um, like, wrong warping or... Jumbled up load zones. Alright, well, can we... At least do anything from here? It looks like it wants us to... Go over that way, but how do we get over there? Because clearly we hooked up there. Um, we need. I 
I'm just gonna say that we're not supposed to be here yet. We need to go back to Zora's River. I didn't mean for this episode to like take us everywhere but where I wanted to go. But what's the song to get back to? Down, A, down, left, right, left. Alright guys, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I will see you in just a sec. Okay guys, uh, <laughs> I was going to just um, make my way to Zora's Lair and uh, just see you guys when I got there just to cut down on you know travel time and stuff like that but uh, I decided to explore around the castle and uh, there's a ring of rocks here and I put a bomb in the center and surprise surprise there's a grotto that you can't see because of more graphic textures and oh my gosh I love this. Dude, Majora's Mask looks so sick. I want, like, I want some Majora's Mask stuff. I don't have very much at all. Ah, oh, dude, it's the moon! <laughs> that, I know that doesn't make sense. In Majora's Mask, uh, you actually, the, the, I'll try and summarize this quickly. The, the Skull Kid, the mysterious skull kid he gets he, that mask that's evil and it basically possesses him and gives him power and he uses that power because um, the spear of Majora is in the mask that's why it's called Majora's mask uh, and uses the power to pull the moon down and crash it into earth and uh, in Majora's mask the it's called Termina the town is called Terminal, um, rather than uh, Hyrule, but um, anyway, you have three days to do like to beat the game before the moon crashes, and that's where like the the time aspect comes in. You can rewind time, go back to the beginning of the three-day cycle and that way you have enough time to do everything um, and you gotta just try and like get, manage your time as wisely as you can and get as much done in those three days and beat the game before the moon crashes and well, I don't want to spoil it for anyone uh, because some people might not have played Majora's Mask, and I will be playing it on the channel, so I won't spoil it. Basically, um, this is one of the final areas of the game. I guess I already did. It's uh, This is what the surface of the moon looks like, or the inside of the moon, technically. Uh, it's not like physically, but I'm like it's... You know, Majora's Mask isn't really meant to be taken literally anyway. And if you don't understand that, it'll it'll be clear when we play it. This person looks so janky. What in the world? Hi, have you ever heard about Majora? It's a god that will bring Armageddon. And he will save only the good ones of us. Now remember, people that don't know, this is a hack. This is someone's made up story that that's not that's not you know true to actual Majora's Mask which is you know official like part of canon this is just someone's made up story so none of this is actually pertaining to the Zelda timeline the Zelda story so According to the text, all the Majora's witnesses will be saved. You can join us if you want. If you're alone, we can be your friends. 
You just have to follow our rules, give us your money, and pray to Majora. If Majora brings Armageddon, we should kill him instead of praying him, no? Well, I'm not sure you're the kind of member we want. Have a good day. Oh wait, did did Knight say that? Oh, I bet. I keep forgetting, like, if it's blue text, that it means it's the fairy. There's nothing in it. It's just a uh, decoration. Not the kind of member you want, are you? Oh, hey. Whoa, dude, even the book. That is awesome. What does that say? It actually says something on it. Majora's Witnesses. Proclaiming of God's kingdom. Wow. That is some attention to detail. Well, I'm not sure you're the kind of member we want. Really? I wonder if there's something I can, like, do. Yeah. Regardless, this is awesome. Let's see where this goes. What this episode is like, did, like, end up being a lot... Uh... Com well, I say a lot different, but it's like... Nothing like what I thought we were going to be doing. I thought we were going to be making our way to the water temple. We've actually found a lot of cool areas, though. Like I said, it is a cool game. I just wish that they had polished some of the platforming and controls. And not necessarily controls, but... This is so strange. And this isn't like a house because we can use items. I wonder if like what are we supposed to do? Maybe Majora ends up being like one of the bad guys of this man this is strange What else can we do? Can you get on top of this? We have to give them our money. Follow their rules and pray to Majora. Hm. Is there really nothing else to do here? It's just, it seems like such a. Well, maybe it'll make more sense later.
Hmm. What the heck? This is a bombable rock. Oh. They made it to where it only works with the strength of Drake. That's strange. They either assigned a different like different properties to the rock like from one of the other boulders that is supposed to be a different color indicating it's for a strength upgrade but the brown ones are the light brown is supposed to be breakable with bombs you can talk to the prisoners but don't believe them wait I think we've been here before I'm innocent. I publicly said the Zoras controlled the king and I've been jailed for it. Leave me alone. You'll all suffer our wrath. Well, you don't have anything to say, do you? Where's the chick that killed her husband? Wasn't she gonna give us uh, a hammer? I didn't even kill him. He was still moving. I started to hit him with my hammer when he was in his bed. Then I put him in the oven with a bomb. After that, I brought him to his favorite chair and I shot him with an arrow. But it wasn't enough for him. I wanted to throw him in the lake, but instead I put him in the basement of my house. Please finish the job. Alright, hang on. Let's read that again. Because that sounds kind of like the um, abandoned house that we found over at the lake. I started to hit him with my hammer when he was in his bed. Then I put him in the oven with a bomb. After that, I brought him to his favorite chair and I shot him with an arrow. But it wasn't enough for him. I wanted to throw him in the lake. But instead, I put him in the basement of my house. Please finish. So we need the hammer. And then we we slam the hammer down on the bed. And then bomb the fireplace. And then shoot the chair with an arrow. And it'll unlock that gate so that we can go to the basement. I'm pretty sure that uh, elevator was going up, though. Maybe... Uh, they just, I mean, the creator of this hack doesn't necessarily speak great English, but cool. At least we know what the house is for. But anyway, uh, in the next episode, we'll have to uh, figure out if we can't find the hammer. And uh, we're going to go back to Zora's Lair and see, uh, because we do need to complete that uh thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it um if you enjoyed please leave a like i would really appreciate it. and subscribe if you're not so that you can make sure you catch the next episode when it comes out and you know if you know anyone that also likes zelda i've been like coming across a lot of people that uh are into it i didn't realize there were so many People, you know Zelda fans around where I live so it's always uh, cool to meet meet people that are into in the learning about Zelda and into playing it so if you're into Zelda and you want to just talk about it you can comment and I will respond um, if you know anyone else that's a fan uh, share the videos with them and I will see you guys in the next one all right